It could be anything, from an apple falling to the planetary movements. You start with a simple question, why? But it's not so simple to answer. This question why has gotten us to where we're at today. Why do the apples fall? Why do the planets move? Why do we dream? This question why sparks curiosity. And we can never fully answer these questions if it wasn't for the tools and inventions that were created. Ever since the invention of the telescope, we've been using telescopes to explore our sky for more than 400 years, and sending spacecraft to explore our solar system for 60 years. And our curiosity goes back to millennia. Curiosity. Curiosity is the strong desire to learn or to know something. That desire has propelled us into the sky and sending us over our horizon. People like Galileo, Carl Sagan, Albert Einstein, <laughs> Edwin Hubble, Carl Sagan, did I say that already? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Annie Jump Cannon have that curiosity and have been studying and exploring our skies. But it wasn't until 1957 that the first human spacecraft was launched into space. This created a new age. The space age. The space starts around 60 miles above our heads. It's a short journey away, but a dangerous one. The first person in space was Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin in 1961. Now imagine what the people of 1961 thought about this historical event. Imagine what they would have thought if they heard about a planet that orbits a star instead of a sun, called an exoplanet, or gravitational waves being discovered which are ripples in the curvature of space-time traveling outwards from a source. That's how we're going to feel when the people of the future find intelligent life on other planets, or the mission to Mars, or even spacecrafts traveling at the speed of light. Humans will always have that drive to keep moving forward, to push the boundaries and push them even further. We'll always have that drive to explore, to question, and to find the truth of those discoveries and questions. I think that's one of the benefits of being human being. Everything that I talked about applies to you as well, whether or not you take an interest in astronomy. I've talked about perspective, talked about questions, and exploring those questions, and I talked about exploring our horizon or our boundaries. Now I challenge each of you to have your own perspective of our world and the cosmos itself. I challenge each of you to ask questions and to explore those questions. And I challenge each of you to explore yourself and find your passion like I have. And let me leave you with a question. What's beyond your horizon? Thank you.